Good morning! This is Mentally Unstable Makeup. I am your host, Unstable Tony. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff to get this out of the way. Let me um, go ahead and start touching and swiping and messing with all of this so I can try to make sure that the comments are working. And they don't look like they are already because Facebook hates me. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I think I got it working. So, y'all know I wanted this so bad. Um, and when it re... My, the, the, the sun is... Excuse my lighting. Um, but y'all know I wanted this so bad. And I finally got it. Um, I have touched it. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm super excited to use it. Here is some finger swatches of the shimmers. If you do not own any of the Sweet Shop palettes from BH Cosmetics, you should totally get them because they're amazing. Um, I was so, so glad when BH Cosmetics relaunched this, um, restocked it because they said they were not going to do it. And I was really, really, really sad. Um, but they did. So I picked that bad boy up. I hope I did that right. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to use it. I'm closing this blind. Hang on. Hang on. It's going to mess with my lighting, but I can't, I can't. It it was in my eye. It was in my eye. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it. So, it's Sunday. I actually had this weekend off, which was fantastic because I haven't had a day off since last Wednesday. And your girl is tired. <laughs> um, I don't know if any of y'all know this, but uh, dog grooming is a freaking hard job. It's a hard job. It's hard on your body. It's hard on your back. It's hard on your skin because you're in soap and water and, and hot air and dog fur and poop and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So that is my new job. And it has been kicking my butt. Um, it's like, technically wise, it's not that hard. But emotionally and like just physically, it's a really, really, really hard job. So, if you get your animal groomed, please tip your groomers. Please tip your groomers. Um, it's hard. It, it's a hard job. But anyways, I asked for recommendations on like good shoes because I'm standing on concrete and stuff all day and it was killing my back. It was killing my back. I mean, not to mention lifting these gigantic dogs and washing them and drying them because you have to go at like all kinds of different funky angles um, to dry them. But I got some Dansko. Dansko. Um, it was really recommended. Apparently, a lot of nurses and stuff wear them. I got the regular tennis shoe kind because I can't, um, the clogs, I can't wear the clogs because the way that they fit on my foot. Good morning, Caitlin. Um, when I walked, the back slid and it, I knew it would give me blisters. So, I got the tennis shoes. Um, I wore them yesterday just to try to break them in good before I wear them to work. That way, if it was going to hurt or something, um, I was going to know ahead of time. So, I'm wearing them again today, and so far, they seem to be helping. Um, but if you have any recommendations for insoles or anything like that to help, let your girl know. <laughs> So, yesterday, I went live with my daughter, and that was so much freaking fun. I have to say, like, she's getting ready to turn 18. I'm very, very proud of my kids. Um, 
in all seriousness, like, they're really good people. And that's all I could really strive for was I want them to be happy and I want them to be good people. And I think, I think I've been successful with that because, I mean, even though she's kind of like lost on what she's going to do with her life and, and school and a career and all of that, like she, she still got a good heart. So I'm very proud of her. So Venna, if you're watching this, which she's not because none of my children follow me on any of my social media platforms. What do you think about that? Um, but I am very proud of her and I'm very proud of all of my kids. They're doing well. Um, I did get a call at 7.30 this morning, and it was the facility where Con's at, and they have a COVID-positive um, resident at this facility. And I guess the um, Asia, the, the lady who called, I guess she thought I was going to be, like, panicky about it, because she was like... I just want you to let you know we're we're quarantining and like all the stuff and I'm like, girl, you good? Like it's, I'm I'm not upset. Like it it freaking happens. What can you do? And it, it's just interesting because they are a level four lockdown facility, which means that there's very little access to anybody outside of like just who works there. Um, and these kids really don't like get to go places or anything. Um, so, <laughs> so I've been kind of dealing with that and I was just telling her like, you know, no big deal. Just, you know, let me know when you get him tested to let me know what his results are, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I'm still not allowed to visit him, so it's not like I was going to go down there and hang out or anything, so it's not like I'm going to be exposed. I'm going to use my um, Cherry Balm Juno & Co. palette for my contour. Um, I love this thing. This and the Kaleidos have been my absolute favorite, like, contour palettes, and it's because the, the shades that are in the ones that I'm using... Um, they don't turn orange on me. Almost all of the other, like, contour products that I've tried and shades that I've tried, they end up turning, like, a dirty orange color on me. And if you notice, I'm not using the brush that I normally use, and that's because I washed all my brushes today. So, uh, PSA reminder, wash your brushes today. Um, but that took for freaking ever this morning, but it had to be done. It had to be done. So I'm going to be limited on what brushes I have. I am going to use the blush that is in the sugar pill. She pigmented, like over pigmented. So you've got to be really careful um, when you go to put it on, like, I dab the brush, and then I really tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. I did yesterday night. Good job, Erica. I did that yesterday, even though I usually do it on Sundays. Good job, Caitlin. It's so funny, because I, I have a lot of brushes, and then I'll procrastinate, and I will really wait until I get down to where I don't have barely any freaking brushes. <laughs> Before I'll wash my brushes. But it's such a freaking task, man. It takes forever. Dries my hands out. Like. <laughs> okay. So my plan is to try to use as many freaking shades in this palette as I can. But I really, really, really want this shade Crunch, which is that darkest shimmer. Um, to, to be one of the main colors. Misty, good morning. Misty, we need to get Cindy a pair of the Tori Bella. She got some magnetic lashes and she had a, hard, a really hard time. And I think, I think that she would do better with your Tori Bella. 
Yeah, I I think I'm finally I think I'm finally out of my funk. I have got to learn that I can't control everything. And that is a poor coping mechanism that I developed through my traumatic childhood because the more I controlled situations, the better my anxiety and um, depression was about situations. Um, but at the same time, I can never enjoy anything because I'm constantly figuring out an exit plan and trying to over control it. So I have tried to step back with my son's situation, especially because he's kind of reached the point where he blames mama for everything. Like he thinks that the reason he's there is because of me. Um, not because he has a mental illness. Um, and so I'm trying to step back and I'm still don't, now, don't get me wrong. The mama bear in me, I'm still heavily involved. Like, I'm still making sure that this place is doing what they're supposed to be doing and taking care of him and, you know, that he's safe and all of that. But as far as, you know, me, myself, trying to help him and learn, you know, how to deal with him and blah, blah, blah. I've stepped back from that because he doesn't want me to. Um, and so it really was, was counterproductive for me to try. So I was loving him too much. Does that make sense? Do y'all understand that? Um, and because of his illness, he doesn't understand that. He doesn't process that. So, it was being counterproductive, and it was also consuming my life, which, I mean, it's our children. Of course it did. So, I'm trying to step back. I've got on a good routine of doing it once a week, except for the holidays because I wasn't home. And I do too, Caitlin. I, I once a week will wash all of my brushes and sponges. But there are weeks when I... I'm not emotionally able to, and I'll kind of go a little longer than I should. <laughs> hey, Cindy, your look was amazing. You've got to quit being so hard on yourself, but at the same time, I totally get it because I'm the same way. Um, but your look was gorgeous. You did it. You did an amazing job, and I'm so proud of you for lashes. I mean, I hate the reason why you had <laughs> to to start doing it, but. Um, they look great on you. Damn it, I forgot the sponges. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to walk away from the brows. Otherwise, I'll, I'll keep, I'll, I'll mess with them for 45 minutes and ain't nobody got time for that. So, I am going to try to do a pretty... Um, dramatic eye look today just because I'm feeling a little extra. So, I'm going to use my eye shields. Again, I got these off of Amazon. They were like $9 for 100 I actually cut them in half. So, technically, I get 200 out of them. Um, but that's what helps me create that crisp line. I dropped my sponge. Hang on. So, I, I really like these because they have the little half slip on them so that I don't have to glue this whole thing to my eye. So, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to line it up with my lower lash line and I'm trying to curve it the same direction that my lower lash line is going. And the hardest part with this is getting both sides to angle the same direction. And it's almost impossible to get 100% perfect because your eye shape is two different eye shapes. 
So I just try to get them as aesthetically even as I can. And it's close enough. Da -da -da. Okay. Okay, so I am going to go into Soft Serve, which is the lightest matte. So all of these are mattes, and all of these are shimmers. My hair is falling out. So this lightest matte right here, I'm going to take a really big, fluffy brush, and I'm going to concentrate that on the inner portion of my eye. So like down in my inner corner, and then bring it up. And usually with light shades, I really have to kind of pack it and then blend it out. And really get it into my wrinkles. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the same on this side. I try to keep the lightest colors on the inner portion and then go dark as I go out just to kind of create um, that light brightness and that shape. So if you notice, I'm not being super careful with this. I'm just kind of packing it on there. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the next shade, which is the Guilty Pleasure. It's right beside it. I'm going to use the same exact brush. Um, hang on, let me get this. Add just a little bit more. And I'm going into my inner corner. So now I'm going to go into Guilty Pleasure, which is right beside it. <clears throat> And I'm going to take that in the center. And if you notice, I'm packing. Packing, 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 packing. And then I will start to do circles just to blend it. And I'm trying to keep this more in the center. It is. It's the BH Cosmetics, the Sweet Shop palettes. I have several of them, and oh my gosh, I've been so happy with them. I really have. If you can pick them up, I highly recommend them. Okay. So now we got that center shade. Now I'm going to get another fluffy brush. It's about the same diameter as the first one I used, and I'm going to go into the next darker shade, which is Nutty. And I'm going to use it on the outer. I'm not going to bring this into my outer corner. I'm, bring, I'm using it above my crease into this outer section. And you'll see why I'm not bringing it into my inner corner in just a minute. Oh, geez, another palette I need. Yep, you need it. So glad they restocked so you were able to get. Me too, girl. Me too. Because I'll be honest, I was really contemplating spending. Because you know how stuff that's really good um, and, and it gets discontinued really quick or sells out really quick. Like, people start selling it on these sites for, like, ridiculous amounts. I was really entertaining the thought of spending ridiculous amounts of money to get this palette. You got to keep it left nipple for this palette. I did. I got to keep <laughs> Erica. Hey, I can't believe you remember that. I, girl, I was ready. I, I was I was ready. <laughs> I love that you remember that. <sighs> okay. So, this deepest, um, darkest shade, that's what I'm going to put on my outer corner and kind of bring into my crease. But, I'm going to use a different brush because as I go down into my eye, I go down in size of my brush. I can't believe you remember that. That's so funny. Girl, I was determined to get this palette. I was. Like, as soon as it relaunched, I added to cart and got it. Like, 
I didn't even look at anything else. I didn't even, because I kind of contemplated getting the orange one too. Deidre! Um, but I wanted to make sure that I got this one. And so I just added it to cart and checked out super fast to make sure that I got it. So yeah, I have problems. But look at that. Stupid face. You know, uh, Caitlin's Cindy's whole live and here lately, every time that I try to comment on a, on a live, every time I comment, it kicks me out. I don't, I don't know what's going on with Facebook, why it's doing that, but it's been doing that to me for weeks now. So this green, it's, it's more, it's kind of like a tealy green. Um, it's still green, but it, it's got a bit of a bu a bu a hue, a blue hue to it. But it's still gorgeous. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get to these shimmers. I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going so fast. <laughs> no, I've not been drinking yet. I'm getting ready to put Godiva in my coffee here in the next cup, though. Don't judge me. Okay, so I'm going to go back with that um, nutty brush that I used for that darkest shade. I'm not going to add any more product to it, but I'm just going to run that over, like, the top portion where I blended it up into those other colors just to try to... Um, blend a little bit better because I kind of have like this line going on but it's okay so right now I'm just kind of going back and forth back and forth back and forth just trying to get it to blend a little bit okay so I'm going to use my NYX glitter glue just like I always do And I'm going to use a packing brush, which is a round, a, it's a round tip, but it's firm. How big do I want? This will work. So it's very firm, stiff, flat, but it's got a round tip to it. And I'm going to dip it in about half of that glitter glue. Really get it on my brush even. And I'm just going to apply it. Anywhere that I really want that shimmer to stick to. And then I'm going to grab the other half of it. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So I'm going to go into this darkest shimmer. I still need some glitter glue. I don't even remember why I'm at Ulta or when I'm at Ulta. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, you can always just spray your brush, but um, it really intensifies the um, pigment. And it really helps bring out the intensity of a shimmer shade. It also um, will help it to stay in place, even though it's going to transfer a little bit anyways, but oh, it's so pretty. I was able to get NYX Glitter Glue at a Dollar General. Sweet. That's awesome. So I'm putting this on the outer corner. And into my crease. And then I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to flip it over to the other side. And I'm going to go into Treat, which is the next shade. 
Don't use lash glue. Glue, I learned from experience. I remember you saying that. <laughs> not the same, girl. Not the same. I'm going to put this on more of the center portion. And then what I'll do is I'll take my brush and I'll kind of flip back and forth between the two um, colors just to try to make sure that the blend between the two where the two meet blend into each other. So you'll see me flip flopping, flippy flopping, flop 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 flopping. Okay, I'm gonna grab a different. Um, it's still gonna be a packing brush, but it's a smaller one. I even used it to cut creases, as I have oily lids and concealer sometimes moves. Oh, I agree. Yes, Erica. So I'm gonna go into Sweet Life. And I don't have glitter glue on this brush, but I do have it on my lid. So it should stick just fine. It's so pretty. So you notice I concentrate the lighter color on the inner portion when I did the matte and the shimmer. Now, this doesn't have any more product on it, but it's the brush that I used with that darkest shade. I'm going to tap it just to make sure it doesn't have any product. And I'm just going to gently rub this around my crease just to kind of get that top shimmer to blend just a little bit into each other. Because I have extremely hooded eyes, the shimmer's gonna transfer up there anyways, so I'm just kind of blending it in there. All right, so for my inner corner, inner corner, I'm gonna take this little rounded fluffy brush. I am going to spray it with my setting spray, except for my setting spray, just sprayed out all wonky. When I grew up, I want to be you even though I'm way older than Cindy. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. I'm going to go into the lightest, which is this shade. And I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. And if you notice, I do circles when I do an inner corner highlight. And that's to really pack that pigment on there. It's so pretty. Okay. So now I'm done with the top portion. I'm going to take, see how it creates that crisp line. I'm going to take a small, I'm going to go into that darkest matte shade, which is this one right here. And I'm going to try to pack that as close to my lash line as I possibly can. Thank you. My shirt doesn't even have green in it at all, but I don't care. I, I, I wanted to use this palette. OK, 
Okay, and to smoke this out, I'm going to take that big fluffy brush. I'm going to go back into Nutty. And I'm just going to lightly fluff it towards the bottom of where I put that dark color. just to smoke it out. If while you're doing this, you accidentally like kind of blend out that darker color, you can always go back and add more. So you don't have to be careful or gentle with that. <sighs> okay, so eyeliner. I am going to use my ColourPop, which is my favorite, um, cream gel liner. It's in the shade Fast Lane. It's kind of a tealy green, so it'll go with that dark shade that I used really good. Y'all know ColourPop gel liners are my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeliner. Cindy, I don't know if I'm going to do lashes today. I don't really feel like wearing them. I put some on yesterday, and about four hours in, it was driving me insane. <laughs> Y'all saw my post. I almost lost them bitches out the window. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was smoking in my car and had it on my right hand because I'm right-handed and went to throw my um, cigarette out the window and about lost one of my lashes. So what I did is I went back with that dark shade and I'm just trying to um, make sure there's no gap between where my eyeliner and my eyeshadow was going. Do y'all see like how quick this went together? Where's my highlight? I mean, this eye look came together quick. Lights, camera, lashes. I also like the bad gal bang. I might do lashes, Cindy. Just because I feel like it really elevates a look. Quality, such an underrated brand. Got four or six of the pilots. Might grab the orange later. That orange one keeps speaking to me. And, you know, it's interesting because I don't wear a whole lot of oranges. I mean, I, I do sometimes, but but that, I don't know. There's something about that orange one that I'm just kind of like, mm, I kind of need that. <laughs> I know what's going to happen is it's going to be sold out forever. And I'm going to decide that I really need it. And not be able to get my hands on it because that's just how my luck runs. This is the Pretty Vulgar Mascara. Um, I really love it. I did wash my wand this morning, which if y'all don't know, when I wash my brushes, I wash my mascara wands. And that helps get rid of the dried up clumps that get on the ends of them. Um, it will also kind of rehydrate it for you if it's starting to dry out a little bit. Um, I wash the lid part, like the where you stick it in and it kind of gets dried up clumps around um, the edge of it.
I don't know that I need lashes today. I might not wear them. We're almost done. You see how quick that came together? I mean, we love a quick makeup. This is the Lip Auto Liner. What do you wash the wands with? Um, Dove, not Dove, um, Dawn. I just run them under hot water, put a little bit of Dawn on them, and then and rub them and rub them and rub them and rub them until no more black comes off. And I, I just wash them off. And then with like the lid part of it, I'll take um, a makeup wipe and just run it like around the lid part of it. And if there's any dried clumps on the outside, I'll, I'll wipe it off with my fingers. I'm careful to not get water inside of it. Um, there will be a little bit that's left on the wand that gets in there, but I'll just take it and kind of like wiggle it around and stir it up really good. Um, and I mean, you can see, I've washed, I washed this this morning. You notice there's not a bunch of clumped up mascara around here. I also wash up in the lid where the mascara gets trapped in there. But I mean, it didn't, it didn't ruin it at all. So this is the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. It's my favorite lip liner. This is the shade Keep It Spicy. I think. Hey, Ashley. You're welcome, Caitlin. It's it's a lot more sanitary to wash them. And they'll last you longer. I think I'm feeling um, a grungy lip today. What do I want? Hmm. 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 I think I'm going to go with Dead Presidents. Always, always, always shake. Um, mix around your liquid lips. I got like an issue here. Hang on. bother me sorry take the wand and wiggle it around you'll get better application and it will last you longer so my Jeffree Star mystery box hasn't even shipped yet I'm, I feel like I'm always the last damn person to get their mystery box. Although, I have watched some spoilers. There's a couple variations that I really hope I get. But knowing my luck, I'll get the variation of all the stuff that um, I already own. <gasps> Deidre, you got yours today? You got yours? Why didn't you post a pic? I want to see what you got. Wow, that's crazy. Didn't those boxes launch a while ago? They did.
Again, I'm always the last person to get my box. It's ridiculous. I don't know if I like this lip with this look. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm looking at my different lips. I almost feel like I need something darker. What do y'all think? I think I need a darker lip. I think this is too light. Let's see what else I got. You got the cremated! Cremated back black black bag, pink hoodie, the red liquid lip set, another ornament, a mirror, which I have, so I was a little bummed. And I got a really pretty highlighter, skin frost, and strawberry gum scrub. Awesome! I have been back and forth about cremated. Like, I want it, but at the same time... I don't really wear a lot of those colors, but I don't know. You already had cremated? Oh, no. Well, if I don't get cremated in my mystery box, then I will... I'll buy that one from you. How about that? Okay, so I think with this look, I need a darker lip. So, let me decide because I'm not really sure... I think I might go with this um, berry that I have. So now I have two backups of his palettes. I have an extra bloodlust and cremated. Sell them, girl. Unless you just really like those and that's what you needed. That lippy reminds me of a lily pad. It's a beautiful color. Just not, I don't know, it just didn't go right with this eye look. I need a darker lip. You can have it. My daughters are not interested in purples or grays. Let me see what I get in my mystery box. And if I don't get it in my mystery box, I'll buy it from you. Bloodlust wasn't my favorite. I had it, um, but I, I didn't love it. Uh, see, Bloodlust was your favorite. Well, then keep that one as a backup. Because you never know, you might hit pan on it, and then you need to replace it, and it's sold out forever. I hate when that happens. Okay, so I actually need a darker lip. And I have so many freaking lippies, it's ridiculous. Um, it's bad when you have so many lippies that you don't know what to choose from. Yes, I hate when that happens. See? But the lippies, I never had a complete set. You'll love those reds. You'll love those reds. His reds are really good. So, I think I'm going to go with like a raspberry color just because I think that would be pretty. Um, let me find it. Hang on. Here we go. 
So this is a Fenty Stoner in Underrated. It's a beautiful, beautiful berry, like raspberry color. So jealous I want both of them. Cindy, I thought you got cremated. See, Deidre, you can sell it to Cindy. <gasps> My son's here. These are really good. Um, they do transfer... But the lip still looks good, even though it transfers. It's kind of some witchcraft. Like, I mean, like if you're wearing a mask transfer. If you let it dry completely down, it stays on really good. Especially when you get it on your teeth. <laughs> but when you... um. Wear a mask, it will transfer off, but the lip still looks good. My son's here. I can hear him. Okay, good to know. Yes, they take a hot minute to dry down, but once they do dry down, they stay really good. Um, like, they'll transfer a little bit onto your cup, um, but it'll still look good. Like, it's the weirdest thing. It's crazy. So, now I need um, to do highlighter. Wow, that's a beautiful color. See, it's like a berry. It's like a raspberry. And I think it goes with greens really, really good. I really like this. I really like this. I got one for my daughter for 40 on a page. She loves that palette. Sweet. Okay, so I'm done. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. And that was quick, guys. I mean, that came together really quick. I, I took longer trying to decide on what freaking lip to do. Um, have a great Sunday. Love yourselves. Love each other. Um, and I'll see you on the next live. Bye.